I immediately regret doing this. Son of a... Well, we're back. We're laying under underneath another truck. This is my 2013 GMC Sierra 1500, the 6.2 liter V8, and the oh, 6L80 transmission. Now, mainly my fault. I think I went a little too long between oil changes on the transmission here the uh driving home the other day started to slip and jerk around a little bit while we we're driving up the highway so i was a little concerned and checked the fluid well she ain't pink and red anymore I'll tell you that much so she's a little bit past her life so we're just gonna drop the fluid, replace the filter, top her back up, see how she goes. Now, as you can see, driver's side exhaust runs right underneath the transmission pan. So that's convenient. Um, stick around to the end of the video. I'm probably gonna mess this up. We're gonna pop a hole in here. We're gonna install a B&M drain plug so that the next time we do this, we can just pop the plug, drain the fluid out. You still gotta pop the pan off anyways to replace the filter, which is the proper way of doing things, but we're gonna loosen this off and it's gonna be like a murder scene under here with the mess I'm gonna make, so uh, <laughs> uh, it should be good. So I'm just gonna loosen everything off and you know, in theory, take off three quarters of the bolts so that one edge of the pan drops down, all your fluid runs out into a catch can. Hopefully we get it all, but we'll see how that goes. And yeah, I'll try and do this as quick as I can. I might just time lapse it and dub some music. Cause really, you wanna watch me fight with transmission pan bolts it's not the most entertaining and Well, lucked out a little bit. And we'll let this drain out for a while. Yeah. Oh, I immediately regret doing this. Son of a... <sighs> So update, it is physically impossible to get the transmission pan off with the exhaust running right across there, which 
begs to question how the dealership has been doing this the last few times I've got the transmission serviced. So that's neat. So I guess we're gonna have to get the old uh, saws all out and zzz, zzz, open headers this old bitch. Well, one dull sawzall blade and a little bit of a zip cut, cut disc later. Oh, the exhaust crossover is out. What a piece of crap. All right, now with the exhaust cross member out of the way, I got the pan off. It's all drained out. We just gotta get that old filter out, put the new one in, and uh, yeah, get the old pan cleaned up drill a hole in it, install the drain plug like I planned to, put her back up, okay, carry on. All right, so the transmission filter is out now. I apologize for the crappy lighter. Just got one of those shining in here, but the filter comes out. It's not bolted in with anything, it just pulls right out. The thing is, I don't know if we can see up in there or not, right up in there, there's that black, you can sort of see that black kind of plasticky rubber grommet that's up there. That's that. That's what holds it up in place there. So when doing this, you gotta make sure you wanna get up in there and get that out of there. Just use a pick to pull it out because the uh, new transmission filter comes with one of the, a new one of those. So we'll get that out, a new one back in there, new filter on, and we will carry on with this. Did I mention it's like winter time and I'm laying out in the snow? This is fun. And like that, new transmission filter installed. You can see that's all brand new and fresh. All right, transmission pan's all cleaned out. Got the old magnet out. Cleaned that up a little bit too. I'm not gonna tell you how many shavings were there. Just, just uh, keep it at that. So, pan's all cleaned up. And, you know, for the next time I go to drop the fluid, we are going to use the drain plug. Maybe I'll, you know, equate to less of a mess. All right, no turning back now. So I kind of figure the front here is close to the corner that I can is a good place for it. So. Oh, point of no return. All right, drilled the hole, got this drain plug installed. Instructions say to torque that nut to 25 foot pounds. So I went click, click with that. Put a little bit of thread tape on those threads just cause. And yeah, okay. You guys cross all your fingers. Hope that don't leak. Hope this gasket don't leak. The uh, dealership said they were usable. So I will go under the truck real quick and get this put back on. All right, so the transmission pan is reinstalled. You can see we got the drain plug there. Now the book says to torque these bolts to about 12 foot pounds. I went snug and uh, crushed fingers for no leaks. Actually, crushed fingers, that drain plug doesn't leak because if it does, we'll be hooped <laughs> and buying a new drain pan. Okay, this is all done down here. We're gonna head up top and we'll uh, top the fluids up. And this particular truck calls for Dextron 6 ATF. And what does it say? 12.2 to 12.4 quarts in there. Also going to throw in some of this snake oil stuff. Kilometers are getting up on this vehicle, so. All right, we will get the funnel set up and fill her up. Okay, 
all the transmission fluid is, uh, well, I put good ch good amount in there. Just gonna roll the truck backwards. Of course, you have to fire it up, check the levels while the truck is in neutral. So I'm gonna get someone to come give me a hand with that. But uh, yeah, this might be loud. Running open headers on the one side. So. All right. Oh, I just got the old engine burning off the transmission fluid that uh, I spilled on the exhaust manifold. So that's all right. Surprising. It's not as loud as I thought it was going to be. Okay, I will uh, see you guys next time.